Okay, now that we're done with the blind flange, we'll get started with the angle bracket. Again, same procedure as before. Click New, Standard.IPT. Opens up, we're going to finish our sketch. And I'm going to make sure that all of my planes are visible. And we're going to go from there. If we look at our angle bracket on the packet, we're going to select... I want to What I want to do when I draw the angle bracket is I want to extrude that L shape out of it rather than starting with a big block and then cutting the L shape it's much easier to start with L shape to begin with so what we'll do is select the XY plane put a new sketch there start drawing very basic again we'll use our line tool I don't want to line up with the center point at this this point in time yet we'll just draw roughly the size that we need make sure we're perfectly vertical Again, when you get those boxes that show up, uh, the one to the lower right of my cursor uh, means perpendicular, and it also, which means that I'm 90 degrees away from the first line that I drew, which is good. We'll go straight vertical here, and then we'll come over a certain distance, being careful not to line up with anything in particular, and then we will create our line and connect. Now we're going to dimension this after we've drawn it. What I want to do is start with dimensioning the outsides. Make sure that that is two inches. And this is going to be two inches. And we're going to make sure that the thickness here is 0.375. And then here's a little trick. I'm going to dimension this, but rather than typing in 0.375, I'm going to click this dimension and notice that it fills in D2, which is the title of this dimension, for dimension three. And I'll click OK. This is FX.375. What that means is that if I ever adjust this, say 0.5, it'll automatically update the other one. I could have done that with these two dimensions as well. Uh, obviously, we want to keep that at 0.375, however. And then we're going to finish our sketch. Notice I didn't put the fillets in just yet. We're going to add those later. So now that we're done with our sketch, we're going to move over to Extrude and make this thing 3D. I'll click Extrude both directions. Remember, I like to keep things balanced. Our total distance is 1.5, and I'll click OK now. So we're looking at our angle bracket here. Let's add the fillets just so we don't get totally lost. So we'll fill it, open that up. Our radius for this is going to be quarter of an inch, according to our drawing. And we're going to slide the fillet tool over here. And what I need to do is click the corners that I want to fill it. And it'll preview. Make sure that those are right. We have an outside fillet and inside fillet and then an outside fillet click apply and then we can close that box so now if we look we have our angle bracket with the fillets that's pretty simple next what we want to do is start drawing our positions for our holes now this YZ plane is actually in the way of me getting to this front face so I'm actually gonna turn the visibility of the YZ plane off for now and I click on that front face because that's where those holes belong and create new sketch. Now here's a little trick if something is in your way of the drawing surface, say this was U-shaped, one thing I can do is go to view and hit slice graphics and that actually removes this whole face here so I can better see what I'm doing. So now I know that this is the very bottom and I can I kind of have a clean slate to work with here. So what I'm going to do is place a point, because again we're putting a hole in here, roughly where it belongs. And I'm just going to dimension that point. So from here to the edge is 0.375, and from here to the bottom is 7 eighths. Okay, now that that hole's position, if we look at our drawing, these are put on a square grid that's 0.75. So rather than putting more points and then laying them all out 0.75 apart, the easier thing to do is go up to pattern, and we'll do a rectangular pattern this time. Once to know the geometry, so we click our geometry, selected that. Next, we look at direction 1. We're going to select the direction. What we have to do is select a line that follows the direction we want to go. So we want to go left to right, so I'm going to click that line. If we look, we see this green arrow here. That's pointing to the left. That's the wrong way. Notice it's creating a point to the left now. If we want to reverse that, we're going to click Flip on Direction 1. That reverses it, but it's over a little too far, so we've got to change the distance between, which is 0.75, and we want a total of two of those, so that's good. 
Direction 2 is going to be vertical, so we want to click a vertical line. Notice we're already pointing up, but these are a little too high, so we don't need to flip the direction. But what we do need to do is adjust our distance again, 0.75. And we're in good shape, so I'll just click OK. We have our points all laid out where they need to be, and we'll click Finish Sketch. Press F6. And now we can start putting in the holes. We'll use the hole tool again. Select my centers, one, two, three, four. Our diameter on these is quarter inch, we're already there. And we want to go through all. And now we're done with the blind flange. We're going to click save and be done with that. Or, I'm sorry, not the blind flange, the angle bracket.